Hi, welcome everyone to today's webinar on Reports Portal Tips and Tricks. Uh, just to let you know, at the end of the webinar, we will be doing the Q&A session. So if you find the question section there in your control panel, uh, that's where you will be able to type out your questions and we'll review them at the end. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, I just want to let you know that uh, the Reports Portal um, Tips and Tricks webinar that I'm going to go over today, um, you should already be a little familiar with uh, the Reports Portal and how it works. Um, so I'm just going to go over that. To get to the Reports Portal, you're going to go under File, Reports, Reports Portal. And I've already done that. That opens up here. Um, in this internet browser and this is what the portal looks like. Um, so what I'm going to go over today, and give me just one moment here. Uh, we're going to go over using the reports portal. Uh, there's a quick reference guide. Um, if you are not uh, using it yet, I'm going to show you how to uh, use that and get that, where to find it. I'm going to go over how to set up categories under the common reports and the my report section inside of the portal. We'll also go over how to save and export uh, your reports, how to use the find a field feature, and how to change the search criteria once you've generated a report. So I'm just going to go back here to my um, reports portal. And I'm also going to pull up the quick reference guide here. <clears throat> if you don't already have the quick reference guide, you can go on our support website. So that's where I'm currently at right now. It's support. It's on myvisionexpress.com. You'll go under the knowledge base here. You're going to find a section here for reports. And we're going to look at reports portal, SSRS. And right here, you're going to find your Reports Portal Quick Reference Guide. This is a um, PDF. I'm sorry, I apologize. This is a live Google Doc. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. That way you guys can see it. This is um, updated material. So if there's any changes, um, you will see the changes as we update our reports. So right now, um, this is the Quick Reference the quick reference guide, you're going to see all of the reports available in the reports portal in here. Um, it's a complete list that's going to include the descriptions of each one of those reports. They're separated into four main categories, which are the same exact main categories you're going to see now when we go into the reports portal. It's uh, the financial reports, the inventory reports, medical reports, and productivity reports. With Within each one of those four categories, there are subcategories that house the appropriate reports, and you're going to find them in alphabetical order. So as you can see here, you have financial reports, which is the very first main category, and then um, subcategory here of insurance, and then you're going to find an age receivables insurance by insurance company report. And then there you can also see the description of that particular report. So it will it'll give you uh, some information. Um, this is a great tool for you to use, especially if you're new and you're not quite familiar with what reports are available in there. Um, this is something you can use to start going through your reports and becoming familiar with what your uh, reports are going to give you and basically uh, find out you know, what report is going to give you the information that you want. So. Uh, again, that is coming right from our knowledge base. I went to go pull that uh, reference guide up. Now I'm going to switch back here to the reports portal. Um, over here in this section on the right-hand side at the top, it's going to say reports. And under that reports folder is where you see that those four main um, folders, parent folders. So you'll see financial, inventory, medical EHR, and productivity reports. 
okay? Please keep in mind that um, all of the data that goes into your reports comes straight from My Vision Express. So for example, if you're just using the practice management portion of our software, uh, inside of your medical EHR reports, uh, you probably aren't gonna see much in there. So those are just some things that I want you to keep in mind um, as to uh, the information that you're gonna see on your reports, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and open up the financial section here. You're gonna see the subcategories. So you'll see insurance, inventory and product, orders and patient. And then under each one of those sections is some reports, okay? So you can see I can just close and open these little arrows here. I like to use a quick reference guide to find the report that I want. Um, making it a little easier. Instead of me having to go through each one of these folders, let's say I'm looking at the uh, reference guide here and I say, okay, well, I want to look at um, my payments report, for example. When I'm here, instead of me going through those folders, I can use a search field, type in payments, <clears throat> select search, and there it is. So it's a little easier uh, when you know the name of the report that you're looking for. Now, in addition to the quick reference um, guide, each report has its own documentation as well. And you're gonna find that here with this little question mark. Notice I hover over and it says documentation. I'm gonna click on that and show you. Each report also has a documentation that is always updated as well as we make uh, changes to those reports, if any. You're gonna get a description again of that report a suggestion of when this report will be beneficial to use, who should be taking a look at that um, report, um, parameters that are in that report, and the report fields. You're also going to find a section for any report assumptions. Sometimes they may be in blank, such as what you're seeing here. Um, they're doesn't always have to be a report assumption. So uh, sometimes some of the reports are going to have that section in blank. Um, and then at the bottom, we kind of put in a suggestion of to what reports you might want to look at in addition to this. So some related reports um, will be listed there. All right, so let's go back here. <clears throat> and that is how you can search for your reports, okay? Now, to make it a little easier for you, uh, once you start learning your reports and learning which reports you want to look at, uh, for example, at the end of the day or when you're doing an inventory or uh, you want to see what orders were done today, uh, you can set up categories here under common reports. You're going to see a section for common reports and a section for my report. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete these here because we're going to start from scratch. So yours might look like this if you haven't really created anything there. Okay, very easy to use. You're just gonna say add. It's gonna ask you to name your group. So I'm gonna say, let's say my end of day. At the end of the day, I wanna look at these reports. It's gonna create a category here, okay? The categories that you create under common reports Everyone that has access to the reports portal will be able to see the category that you create here. Down at the bottom where it says my reports, this is where I can create my own personalized category. So if I work, let's say in the billing department and I wanna create my own category here, I can do that down here under my reports. Same way I use the add button, name my category. Okay, now to add to your categories, add the reports here, what you're going to do is find the report that you want over here on the right. You're going to drag it over. So hold down the left button on your mouse, drag it over. You're gonna see a red X until you see that nice green check mark, you're gonna drop that there and it adds that to your category. So I'm gonna do a few more examples. Let's see here, I wanna see at the end of the day, I wanna see my payment. I wanna see, let's say for example, my day sheet. So I'll search for that and bring it over. And maybe I wanna see um, 
orders by employee. That's a good end of day report. So as you can see, I'm also giving some suggestions here of some reports you might want to look at at the end of your day, uh, just for you guys to get an idea here. And I'm going to add some down here. <clears throat> Oops, I hit the caps lock. And again, if you don't want to, I've been using the search feature. If you don't want to use the search feature, you can definitely go through um, those areas and um, pull up the report that you want that way. Okay. So there we are. And um, if you needed to add additional categories, you can just go ahead and repeat that and add additional categories there. Once you set these up, if you kind of want to um, change around the sequence that they're in, you can uh, just drag them around and rearrange them how you want to see them. Uh, if you made a mistake on what you named the report and you need to edit that, all you have to do is just uh, double click and it's going to open up the fields again and you can edit. Okay. Uh, another thing that you can do is delete that category by selecting the red um, trash can there. It's going to ask you to delete the group. You will say yes and it will remove it for you. Uh, you can also remove reports from within the category, maybe now you no longer want to see, let me add another one here. I'm just going to add a few here. You want to remove that report, you're going to just click on the X and it's just going to remove it for you. Okay. All right, the next thing I want to go over here is going to be how to uh, save and export your reports. So what I'm going to do is I'll uh, go ahead and generate a report here. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and click on payments. I'll use that first one. That is going to take me to the report parameters. Okay, so if this is my payments report, I'm going to select the parameters I want to use um, to generate that report. So basically the criteria or the filter that you want to use. Now um, every report has different parameters. Um, so you're not always going to see the same thing that you're seeing right here in the report parameters. Uh, wherever you see a red asterisk, that is a required field. So you need to put something there in order for you to generate the report. Uh, you're going to find some shortcuts. Uh, for example, select all. Uh, if you check that box off, well, basically it's just going to select all of the options under that particular um, section. Um, and sometimes by default, as you see here under payment method, is already selected as all. You're also going to see a use empty value option. So if you check off that box, it won't look at the date. Okay, so here my location is defaulted to the location that I am currently logged into. So that's what you see there. I'm going to select the date range that I want to use to generate uh, information for my report. And I can select a specific payment method, as you can see, or I can say all. And every report is going to have a breakdown state that you can select. Okay, that's going to be either collapse all or expand all. What does that mean? I'm going to say collapse all, that way you can see that first, okay? And I'm going to say view report, this is going to generate my report, and it's going to be collapsed. So, also remember that depending on how much information your report is generating, that's going to determine how long it's going to take for that report to come up, okay? So once the report comes up here, I selected collapse, so all of this information is closed in here. So I have to go and click on this little plus sign to open up the report, as you can see, and keep going and opening up each section to view all of the details that I want depending on the section. Okay, And that is because I collapsed all. Now, if you want to change the search criteria 
on the report that you just generated, you can easily go back to the parameters here by selecting show. That's going to open up the parameters again, and I can make any changes here, and I'm going to say expand all now, and generate your report again with the new uh, criteria parameters that you want. So now I don't have to go open up these little sections. They're already automatically open for me. Okay. To save or to export this report, you're going to find an icon here that looks like a little disk. And there's a drop down there. So you can select what format you want to export your, um, your report in. So I'm just going to say PDF here. Okay, and notice that it's giving me some options here, so you can go ahead and save it. And I'll just save it here, just for example. And then you can go ahead and um, pull that up, and it's saved as a PDF. Okay, so you can export that out and save that as a PDF, Excel, or a Word document. Okay. Uh, in addition to that, I wanted to go over how to use the find feature. Um, and this is a great feature to use when you have a, a very large report. Mine isn't that big, so I can easily see what's on my report here. Uh, but let's say you had a report that was a few pages long that had a lot of information in it. And you're just looking for one specific thing on there. What you can do is use this section here. And basically, it's going to find the keyword that you put in here. So let's say if I'm looking for a certain patient. The name of that patient is Adriana Lima. I'm going to type in her last name, and I'm going to click on Find. It's going to look through the report, and it's going to highlight where it finds that keyword that I entered in that field. So as you can see, it's highlighted for me. This is a great, great thing to use, especially when you have those really, really large reports. And if you click on next, well, it's just going to go to the next time that it finds that keyword again. So notice that first we were here, and then it came down here over to this one. All right. Uh, from here, you can also, if you like, uh, go ahead and print out your report. At the top here, what you're seeing is uh, the parameters that we used uh, over here when we went to generate that report. So they're going to reflect up here in this section. All right, so um, <clears throat> besides this, um, some of your reports might be a few pages long. So you're always going to see that up here on the top left-hand corner. You'll see how many pages it is. Mine is only one. Um, if it were more than one, these arrows would become available. They wouldn't be grayed out. They would be in blue, and you can navigate through those pages. Um, here at the end, you're also going to see a grand total. I just want to let you know, sometimes, um, when your uh, report is more than one page, you might not see this on the very first page. You might see it on the last page. So just navigate through your pages if you're ever looking for that very last green grand total line. Um, sometimes it looks a little weird, but you'll find it in the last page. Okay. Um, from here, I'm just going to go back to list. That's going to take us back to our um, categories that we set up here and, again, the reports section on the right-hand side. All right, so um, that's really all that I have for today for the tips and tricks on the reports portal. Um, thank you for joining me today. I will go ahead now and